here it is. The major storm is upon us now. You can see we got a whole lot of movement in the tent. What's up ninjas? It's your boy Fuzzy and we are back at it again with another video and in this one we have headed to the beautiful, beautiful Austin, Texas and specifically Circuit of the Americas where we are going to watch the MotoGP races this weekend and camp out. It's going to be awesome. You guys know from watching this channel that I love motorcycles, all different types of motorcycles. I've been doing this for a long time and these guys are the best in the world at motorcycle racing so I'm excited. But more importantly we got our 4M bell tent in the mail right before we came down and even better which sounds crazy we are expecting some pretty crazy storms specifically tonight we are going to get to test this tent out for you guys in amazing texas thunderstorms is this thing going to survive man every review i've ever seen says it does and i am super excited to see how this night's going to play out So it has started. The midnight storms that we were going to get uh, did not come through, or this tent is just so awesome that we slept through them. I seriously doubt we slept through thunderstorms though. But we are getting some good rain as you can hear in the background. And uh, you can see it. Water is beating and flowing right off this tent just like it's supposed to do. Uh, this is great. And it sucks. I've got to go potty. <laughs> and now it's pouring down rain. <sighs> What's more important? places where I really thought we would get some leaks but we are not uh, it looks like these vents up top in the middle these guys are I mean sealed looking at everything the smoke hatch that thing is holding strong and back here was my real one that I was concerned about this is where it goes to the outside that's actually an opening but it's got that rubber grommet on the outside of it I think Zoom's job. We got no leaks. Uh, we have survived the first set of storms. However, we do have some leaking now around the bases of the tent, but I don't believe it's the tent's fault. Behind us directly is a road that was just recently graded. Uh, they did that for everybody coming into the park that we're at. It looks like the path of least resistance for all the water in this entire area comes in behind us. So all of the water that feels like underneath the tent feels like a waterbed. It's literally ponding, pooling, but Bed stay dry, clothes stay dry. No leaks from the top of the tent. But again, when a tent is sitting in water, I mean, what can you expect? Get some lunch. Here it is, the major storm is upon us now. You can see we got a whole lot of movement in the tent. It's just getting hammered. So what I'm feeling coming in from these vents up here, I'm getting a little bit of water that's being blown by just these straight line winds that are coming across us right now. And it is getting absolutely crazy, but structurally, it's holding together very, very, very well. It is nasty, it's windy, and there's one heck of a storm out there. 
So we did it guys, we survived the storm. That was a crazy storm. Texas did not disappoint at all. The winds were sustained at around 25 miles an hour, gusting to 40 at the peaks of the storm, 40 to 45 they said. The people around us weren't so lucky. Now there's a couple people lost their tents, their awnings, there's a couple of porta potties that even blew over. Thankfully I think nobody was inside of those. Um, but it was an incredible, incredible storm. I can't say anything but positive things about this tent. Again, we did have just a little bit of leakage. The road behind us was freshly graded right before we pitched the tent and a little valley in that road recreated itself. No idea, any way to know that. Let's take a look inside this thing, guys. All right. So, as you can see, guys, we have a nice big entrance. And this thing completely folds up and out of the way if you want just open we used it like that all weekend long it was absolutely awesome nice very 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 well manufactured bug netting winds that were sustaining it around 20 miles an hour we left this tied away just the bug netting and it survived all weekend long moving on past our doormat we have our little kitchen area that we set up in the winter time we're going to use wood stove in the wood stove hatch but Coolers, all this stuff, and a little chair here we sat. We were able to prepare our food, cook, room to stand up. Give you guys a frame of reference. I'm six foot four. Hold on. I can't touch the ceiling. This 4M tent is absolutely huge. It's very, very, very comfortable. And these vents did a great job through the storm of keeping the water out. You could, I mean, you had 40 mile an hour gusts of wind so yeah we were we were feeling a little mist every now and again of water but nothing got wet underneath it it was quite impressive and you know all of the the, the heat on the during the hot day was able to flow out the breeze came in through the vents on the bottom really nicely we're not using a tent stove yet but this is very very well made I have no no worries at all that this is going to do a very very good job for us it is a five inch vent for your tent stove and should we need to attach any flashing to it or anything like that, it's so well made. I don't think that that's going to be an issue. This is incredible, this whole tent. Moving on to the bed we just got up. So the temperatures after the storm got super, super cold. Give you guys an idea of the sleeping arrangements. Me and Pickle had all the room we could ever want. Even some more extra space down here. This is a queen size bed in a tent. I think this is called glamping. Pretty intense. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy is my clothes for the day, for the races. I'm so excited about these things. So we got absolutely no leakage through any of these zippers. The only time we had any issue whatsoever was a little bit of leakage through this zipper, which the manufacturer actually advertises that the first real big rainstorm you go to, you can get a little bit of leakage around the zipper there, and as it dries, the canvas will shrink, and you will never get a leak again. It has that feel of something that somebody put a lot of time and effort into making. Kind of the living area. You can see we've got all of our clothes. We've got her bag, my bag, extra water, radio, everything we can want. We can stand up right here and change. This is huge. This tent is big. Now, we don't agree on this. I think that me and her could have gotten away with the 3M tent. There's just so much unused space in this tent. We are so good at packing for our camping and hiking trips that, you know, organizing a tent wouldn't be a, an issue for us. We don't need a queen size bed. And I think that, you know, the 3M would be perfect for two people, realistically. But if you just want luxury, this 4M tent, this is the way to go. That's it. I absolutely love this tent. We're going to be using it in a lot of adventures coming up really soon. Please stay tuned to the channel. We're going to have that amazing giveaway. Since we came back, we may have some other videos that you guys have seen. If you haven't, go back and check those out. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you really like the video, go down below, hit that red subscribe button, and become a ninja. And if you really, really like the video, please share it to your friends and family so that they can become ninjas too. Guys, I appreciate you watching these videos from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for the support, and we will see you in the next one. Oh, yeah,